So we got this this crimping tool. All right, that's a that's a cheapie, okay. But this is the tool that we used. It's a HSC eight six four A, and this is what crimps these. And it's not really it's not rocket science. I mean, you just take the ends of these wires, okay, the center conductor, stick it in there, put that in there, and crimp it. All right, and now you have a nice little. And then you can slide that on. And you the can post. slide this onto the post. Let me show you in the back that's on now okay which we have on you can see they've been crimped they're, they change shape when they're crimped and you know this is your power supply here and that's the manufacturer's serial update connections right there all right and we use this power supply at um, the could, voltage that's right and we can also monitor the current as you can see that this device doesn't really draw much current less than is, half an amp yeah which is really nice i mean it, it is a nice unit the problem is we were using it uh, for instrument training and uh, the attitude indicator would be uh, late. Uh, in other words, if we made a left turn and then we came to level, it was showing that we were still in a left turn for a while. So it was precessing pretty badly. So I'm and hoping that uh, this software update is going to solve the problem. So next step is go back and install it. Yeah, so the next step, we're going to go back and just reconnect everything up in the plane. Uh, again, you may not have to do that if you have the, you know, we were trying to do it at the plane, but we found out that we needed to uh, get these things. Um, we didn't have the uh, the Ampinol type connectors to pin in. So that's another uh, method of doing it. But the wiring diagram for for this um, that uh, UVA Avionics supplied is accurate. The only thing that we found as a problem was if you go to the bootloader mode first and then try to use the tool. this, the tool, it's probably gonna tell you unit not detect it port error so what we did is we just applied power to it the unit came on and then i connected it and once i connected on the tool the screen did go black it automatically went into the bootloader didn't mode. have to press and hold didn't those have two to buttons press and hold those two just keys. apply power yeah and as you can tell uh the software has been updated and i'll show you here in a second we're going to disconnect the power all right we don't want to do that so what we're going to do is push the power back on and you'll see the software has been updated uh, to the new uh, software which i understand uh correct me if i'm wrong no, i understand that it came out just two weeks ago 2 .1 yeah so the software version 2.1.2 that's the new software version